still have some work to do, guys. as the month of the abusive mother. If I hadn't been raised by so-and-so, I would not be willing to stick my neck out so far. That is the theme of the month of December 2015. Welcome to Sexy Astrology. Okay, yes, so welcome to the month of December 2015 for Sexy Astrology, the month of health and healing, slow, disciplined, and thoughtful energy. Yes, most notably, Saturn has returned to the uncomfortable sign of Sagittarius early in the fall. And the reason why I say uncomfortable, um, I'll just throw out my notes, is because Sagittarius is anything but reliable, trustworthy, slow-moving, um, is very uninterested in building a structure. The only way that it really, um, without feeling hamstrung that is, the only way that Saturn really enjoys being in Sagittarius if there, if there is a configuration with Capricorn, and which there is right now, Pluto and Capricorn might actually assist Saturn being in Sagittarius, because Saturn in Sagittarius likes to move real, real fast, likes to not finish taking all of their notes, likes to um, mix it up in a, in a vortex of, uh, I don't want to say insanity, but like in a Cuisinart of uh, mixing things like too rapidly. Um, Saturn does rule the kind of melding of different cultures, philosophies, and religions, and it also has a heavy hand and toehold in the world of history and really enjoys kind of uh, punching those up and bringing them into the forefront, if you will. Um, so Saturn in Sagittarius is really re-experiencing at this moment how to create infrastructure around the topics that are Sagittarian in nature. And so with that, here now, your horoscope. Right, so the business of Saturn in Sagittarius, um, Sagittarius ruling sort of like forefronter, uh, for, for thinking, forward thinking in historical terms and racing and racing to the top and being uh, in this fiery kind of volcano of like, I did it first, um, because it's a fire sign. Uh, let's not um, downplay the importance of the Sagittarius energy in our life. The, the business of Saturn creating structure and infrastructure in the world is where there is a lot of uh, fight, you know, fight to the top. And so to speak, that's where Saturn is at cross purposes in the sign Sagittarius, a little bit like when Pluto was in Sagittarius. However, Pluto and Sagittarius created all these explosions all over the place in an undisciplined fashion, which actually generated a lot of money because Sagittarius also rules generosity. And now this isn't necessarily gonna make money now for anybody, but it will in the future. In other words, if you have a forward thinking idea that you need to bring out in order to uh, create better infrastructure around historical stuff or cultural stuff, or, you know, for example, the business of how to fight racism in America, um, how to get all those broke ass artists to make some money, <laughs> me, and, you know, things like that. If you're, if you're out there creating ideas for those kinds of things, for the betterment of the world, Saturn in Sagittarius will help you focus immeasurably, especially if you have any planets and earth signs coupled along with Pluto in Capricorn. So that's all I got for that little bit. Here now your horoscope. 
Oh yeah, one more thing about Saturn and Sagittarius. If you are not supposed to move ahead in an area which you have placed great importance on, Saturn and Sagittarius will force you to let it go and help you heal. So take heed, watch what is going on with yourself. Okay. Yes, so in a sense, anybody with a lot of Sagittarius right now, if you have been kind of moving in a thoughtful, slow, disciplined fashion, you will have success. If something is being ripped from your hands, obviously do the work you need to do to let it go. Um, even let go of anything, you know, it's, it's like the, the human soul is capable of healing all kinds of things. So anyway, yes, especially the square to Virgo. I need to talk a little bit about that. Um, Virgo, uh, Jupiter it squared to Saturn in Sagittarius would have a lot to do with practical problem solving uh, issues on the forefront of culture, history, and where we, where should we go next? So keep your antennas up if you're a Virgo with a lot of Sagittarius, Brian, <laughs> or vice versa, you're a Sag with a lot of Virgo. Okay. Or you're in a couple, Tia and Carl. <laughs> Hello, dear Capricorn from Sexy Astrology. Yeah, you are like holding your own now. Invest in people. Make yourself take more risks. Okay. Um, yeah. And friendships and partnerships that develop slowly over time are definitely the best. Cultivation. Continuity. Slow and steady.